set to go. And they're off, racing away six furlongs in the Group 2 Coventry Stakes. And T. Cento, the maroon colours, is one of the first ones to show with Royal Scotsman over toward the left-hand side in pink and green. Showing plenty of speed towards the near side is Rousing Encore, and he shows the way under Roshi Noor. Rousing Encore goes on from Harry Time and Holgan and T. Cento and Lakota Blue coats up. Near side is Blackbeard in the purple and white. In the centre of the field there is Persian Force together with just in behind at King's Crown with the nose band further back to Paddy's Day right over all the left hand side now Brad Sell the red and white followed through by Remarkable Force waiting all night some way back through the long with Age of Kings then scholarship and show respect and last of all is the American Raider late September they head down towards the final quarter mile Raw Scotsman has come there to join in with T Center Holgan responding to pressure Harry Time is still quite prominent as so too rousing encore and Brad Sell next makes a big move on the outside and Brad Sell now moves into the lead under Holly Doyle from Roll Scotsman in second. Then came the battling away in third Persian force and then rousing encore. They're inside the final half of Furlong and it's Bradsell who's got a couple of lengths lead and Bradsell will win the Coventry Stakes. Persian force up for second. Royal Scotsman third. Then Blackbeard waiting all night and rousing encore. Wow, Bradsell eight to one. That was a very convincing performance, Andrew. It was. He was uh, an effortless winner up at York on his debut performance. He was consigned by Mark Grant, the ex-jump jockey, and always thought of him. He's only 12,000. That's all he cost. And hey, the way he's gone through that, it was no fluke because you got Persian Force, who was back there in second, who had an unbeaten record on the line. He had a perfect slot through the race. But Holly Doyle, down the middle of the track, on the far left, as we look at the screen, has kicked probably a little bit sooner than the horses on this side. She's got first jump on them, and she's kept this horse.